Hello and a very warm welcome to Meghan and Harry News YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Alex and hope you are all okay today and not too cold. It is very cold here today. Netflix have released a new trailer for the forthcoming episodes 4, 5 and 6 to be released on Thursday and there was some interesting snippets in it. We see Harry say they were happy to lie to protect my brother. Who is they? I would imagine it would be the media but as we all know, the media seem to be at the beck and call of the royal family, so it could mean both. Meghan also says in the clip, I was not thrown to the wolves, but fed to them, and more, so we have some quite sensational quotes. Here we see, they were happy to lie to protect my brother, new claims in Harry and Meghan trailer. They were happy to lie to protect my brother, says Harry, referring to Prince William, they were never willing to tell the truth to protect us, he adds, as Meghan says, I wasn't being thrown to the wolves, I was being fed to the wolves. Meghan also says our security was being pulled and everyone in the world knew where we were in the footage, hinting at possible deliberate sabotage of their safety. I said, we need to get out of here, says Prince Harry as the footage cuts to an aircraft taking off. Prince Harry is then seen in a self-shot video on board the couple's flight to the US, saying, we are on the freedom flight. Harry also says, to see this institutional gaslighting as footage is shown of newspaper presses rolling. Institutional gaslighting. So gaslighting is a psychological method of manipulating someone so as to make them question their own reality. They start to question their own sanity and reasoning. An example of gaslighting would be a partner doing something horrible to their partner and then denying it happened to such an extent that the victim starts to wonder if they imagined it. So institutionalized gaslighting would be that. An institution is an organization founded for a social purpose linked to an established law or practice. So the institution he is talking about must be the UK establishment of which the royal family are the head of, the same institution that are protected and reported on in a biased manner by the media, the same media that are running a smear campaign against Meghan and Harry all because they were more popular than the other senior members of the royal family. So he is literally referencing that the royal family and the institution that surrounds them have sanctioned the gaslighting of them hence institutionalized gaslighting. In the trailer, Harry asks, I wonder what would have happened to us if we hadn't got out when we did, Meghan adds. Our security was being pulled, everyone in the world knew where we were. The trailer also features photographs and video footage of the couple at home in California and with their children, ends with Harry saying, I have always felt as though this was a fight worth fighting for. With Buckingham Palace largely spared during the first three episodes, the trailers for the final three episodes hint at a more direct accusation on the family and their ties to the media and the planting of stories, and as we have already heard, the dirty games that they play. Tyler Perry, the filmmaker who offered his California house to the couple after they left their lives in the UK, also makes an appearance in the trailer. They wanted to be free, to love and be happy, he says. I applauded that. In the first three episodes of the docuseries, the couple shared intimate details of their courtship, took aim at the unconscious bias inside the royal family and criticised the media attention they'd been subjected to, particularly from Britain's tabloid press. Buckingham Palace said it would not be com commenting on the docuseries when the first part released last Thursday. The second part of the docu-series directed by Liz Garbus premieres on Thursday. Will Meghan and Harry reveal the smear campaign and the origins of it? Will they talk about the Instagram bots and trolls that were assigned to smear their social media accounts? How far will this documentary go? Will they talk about the William and Kate commercial plane flight photo shoot deliberately set up after Meghan and Harry were constantly attacked for flying in a private jet? and the many more media tricks that have been played. It will be interesting. Let me know in the comments if you think the final three episodes will include these items 
Or do you think the documentary will end up pulling its punches 